William, the headmaster, tells me that this school is staffed with teachers well used to caring for traumatized children. But no one was prepared for the wild child that arrived that day. Everybody converged. We wondered what sort of person this one was. Here was a boy, about seven maybe, just squatting and skinny, acting like a monkey. He had those characteristics. He was trying to keep away. You could see he was scared. He didn't have trust for people. He would prefer the squatting to standing, so he would squat like this most of the time and popping an eye once in a while. Did he speak? He didn't have proper speech. He could scream, he could cry. He would use actions. If he wanted something to eat, he would do. pop out his hand. So he'd sort of yeah. gesture mm. to say what he wanted. What did the children make of him? They, got, they were scared of him. They would keep their distance. Though it, it was a sight they needed to see. What about the teachers? They were scared, of course. So everyone was scared of Everybody this was wild scared boy? Of this was totally different. It was too much. The teachers here specialised in helping traumatised children. So how did they fare with John? Did you manage to help him? We did the bit we could. Controlling him was not easy. Mm. It wasn't. <laughs> Bathing was a problem. He was not used to water. Pouring water onto him, he would scream. He'd scream? He would scream. He didn't like it because he was not used to it. It was fighting to bathe him. We would squat him. We had to be held by about two or three people. So this little skinny wild yes. boy, you needed three adults to because hold Because you, you had to fight his hands. I mean, it was disturbing to him. <laughs> 